that, that's made specifically for Mercedes. And since we're talking about the uh, Chrysler Crossfire, then there's no exception because this is a Mercedes uh, that is basically called Chrysler Crossfire and looks slightly different. However, electronics and everything everything goes pretty much is the same. So we have the engine control module hooked up on a scanner. We have scrape module hooked up on a scanner. We also have key that's already connected into the uh, like a key slot or let's call it ignition switch uh, and also yeah that's pretty much it right so we also have an extra key that we'll be testing a little bit later but uh, we have scream key and ECU connected right now on this bench and this bench is connected to Mercedes factory scan tool that's called star diagnostic yeah so for those who are trying to uh, you know find the right equipment to uh, test uh, Mercedes or even um, Chrysler Crossfire then highly recommended Mercedes factory scan tool that's pretty much the only equipment that is going to be able to determine the exact problem and it will help you to you know just test things faster way faster so for example since I have everything connected you can take a look at the VIN number all right so VIN number is there so let's go straight to control units and see uh, what we can do with it. So we have engine control module and our first step is we have to see if we can communicate with the engine control module and get any data from it. When we go to control units we can choose drive because uh, engine control module is a part of the drive system and we see ME2 SFI module, motor electronics which is th this is uh, this specific role means that it's for engine control module ME2 motor electronic. So we click that Oh, and now we have to turn the ignition. So we take the key that's that's already inside of the ignition switch. And here we have our ignition. Well, since this is not a uh, real Mercedes, we have to make it similar, almost like in Mercedes. You turn the ignition on <laughs> and uh, it automatically it automatically reads the data and it knows that it's on. So now let's see what's inside of the computer. It's a good sign. It means that we have communication with the engine control module so the engine control module perfect communicates just fine and we can go inside of control unit version and see if it can read the data yes it can control unit me28 this is the part number Bosch and everything else so engine control module have has no problems whatsoever uh, we can read fault codes we supposed to see a couple of them because not everything is connected because remember this is taken off of the vehicle and it's connected on the bench so we might see some codes some codes are going to be active some codes are going to be stored so let's see throttle valve jamming stored the reason the reason why uh, i can assume that this vehicle has uh, throttle problems is because this code is here and it's stored. Stored it means that this code that this code does not present here at the moment and we don't have this throttle uh, thing connected on the bench. Uh, so if we would and that would be a problem it will show us that it's a problem. However it's not connected and it says stored that means that it's a problem that was before. Um, however this problem is not something that prevents this vehicle from start. I uh, just show you this so you can see that we are able to read codes and now let's see if we can go straight into the immobilizer and uh, just find information off of the immobilizer. Anti-theft alarm system. Yeah, sometimes when you don't see things in uh, in the list you would have to go back and run the quick test which is going to take uh, some time but once you get the whole list of uh, everything that's connected then we can see what's happening so we have radio frequency locking central blah 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 this is exactly what we need uh, to determine the immobilizer let's go inside and see what's happening All right, so we finally got into the immobilizer. Right now I'm trying to read the data directly from the immobilizer, or let's call it scream module, because specifically for uh, Chrysler's, that type of a computer called scream module. And it gives me a code right away. And uh, look, I didn't even touch anything. The scanner uh, realized it automatically by, by its own. 
that control unit variant is unknown so if we click enter we will be able to get in and read the data from it which means that the module communicates and i can read the information from it but uh, codings inside of this computer are messed up and uh, I, I can tell that by just reading tons of uh, codes diagnostic 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 so basically this code just just to make things easier for you guys if you see this specific code inside of the Chrysler Crossfire uh, screen module with your scanner that you scan your car with right and this type of a code or that type of codes I should say they indicate that the problem is with the module the module is bad so to make things 100% clear and to realize that you know it, it we are doing and diagnosing the right thing. I'll show you something else. Mercedes has such a unique vehicle that is way different than anything else. If everything communicates, it doesn't mean that the car is going to start. Mercedes works the following way. If it recognizes the key and the engine control module is programmed and synchronized with the immobilizer, then the vehicle is going to start because on Mercedes, engine control module is sending signal to the starter right not the immobilizer like on bmw because on bmw cast module which is the immobilizer activates the starter on this car it's the engine control module is activating the starter and the only way when it's going to activate it is when first of all the software is allowing this thing to start and second hardware wise is good so this computer doesn't seem to be bad hardware wise but let's see what the software says before we even go any deeper than that so we go straight into the engine control module oh i apologize i went to the transmission control module we go back go to engine control module this one um and we go to the actual values actual values this is something that was predefined from factory and it's going to show us what needs what what this scanner what what this module is supposed to show in order to work too, too many words let me show you uh, we go to actual values this is where you can read your uh, status for pretty much any computer but this is for me 2.8 so we get in and uh, we we can choose from this entire list drive authorization check drive authorization on mercedes this is the most important feature because this is what um, basically determines if the computer is programmed to your security immobilizer keys whatever or not let's get in and see what it shows us so specified value this is something that supposed to be this is exactly how this immobilizer is supposed to uh, be determined in order to work so this is what factory says factory says that it's supposed to be not active and start enabled yes if we see start enabled yes that means that the vehicle is going to start 100 percent however on the right side in the actual values we see that start enabled is no that means that this vehicle never ever going to even crank because there's no signal going from the ecu to the starter and this is exactly how we test that we don't even have to open the computer to tell you that it's bad because we already can see that the software is bad which is enough to understand that the car will never ever start with this problem so this is a proper values and this is our actual values and our actual values does not match proper values in this case that is why i know for sure that the immobilizer is not working and it is not programmed and vehicle will never ever going to start with this problem we can also we can also test one thing right here so since we have our key right before we take the key out of the ignition we have to turn the ignition off right so we turn the ignition off and we take the key and we take another key and put it back in so this is second key let's see maybe that was a key problem maybe i'm wrong let's see if another key is going to show us anything different we turn the ignition on and right now you see it cleared everything because we reinitialized the system well we actually have to go back and then we have to get back in 
And guess what? Shows exactly the same problem, which means that both keys are doing the same thing. And by the way, keys are working. I'm gonna show you a separate video how we test keys, but I know for sure keys are working. This is the immobilizer problem because the immobilizer problem um, is determined by the scanner. When I try to get into the screen module, throws me a code right away that something wrong with the coatings. I can easily get into the engine control module and see all the values. Uh, so ECU is not bad, but the uh, screen module or immobilizer is defective. And now we have to get it fixed and see what's going to happen after that.